Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the jQuery focus in event handler. And then in the next video, we're going to be looking at the focus out handler. Essentially, what we're going to be creating is a form field where the user would be to type, for example, their name. And when we focus in, we're going to give the user a bit more information to help them out. And then when they focus away, perhaps onto the page itself or onto another field, we remove this uh, span text. So just so we can get the idea of what we're creating, let's go ahead and create our input type, uh, our input field, and as well our span. So input type is equal to text. And I'm going to give this an ID of name. I'm then going to create a span afterwards, and the ID of the span is going to be, um, say, name span. And I'll end that span tag there. I'll just add a label in front of here. So, for example, your name. Now, let's go and refresh our uh, page in our browser and see this. You've got your name, and we can type in a name here. Now, we, what we want to happen is as soon as the user focuses in to this field, either by tabbing down the page, for example, they might come from this field to another field. That's why we're using focus in and not the on click or the click event in J jQuery. If we were to use the click event for this, the user would have to click rather than tab down the page. So as soon as this field is in focus in some way or another, then the span here will give us a bit more information. So let's go ahead and start to create our, uh, our JavaScript file. I'm going to save it in the JS folder and I'm going to call this focus.js. Okay, so inside index.php we need to include this in our page. So let's go ahead and include this here. So the script type is text slash JavaScript. The source is js forward slash focus.js and we can just end the script there. So now that we've included focus.js, we can go ahead and start to write the code inside. So we reference um, the text field we've created, which is name. So we can write in here hash name. Now we want to say focus in, so dot focus in, and this uh, is the event handler um, that we need. Inside of this, we're going to create a function, and we'll just pull that down so we can work inside a block here. Now what we want to do is add some text to this span here. So let's go ahead and reference that. We're going to say hash name span dot html and we can write in enter your full name. So now what's going to happen is when we refresh our page and we click here, we get this text enter your full name. Now let's go ahead and duplicate the current field we have and actually create something else. So I'm going to say your age. I'm going to keep this as an input type of text, but I'm going to change this to age. And similar, similarly, I'm going to change this to age as well. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, we need age just here. So let's uh, surround these in paragraphs just to separate this out and we'll be able to see our two fields, one below each other. So when we click on your name, it says enter your full name. When we click on age, nothing hap happens at the moment because we don't have a handler for this. Let's take the easy option and we'll go and just copy and paste this down. And we'll change this here to age. We'll change this here to age and we'll change the message. So enter your current age. Okay, so now that that's working, when we click on your name, we get this span filled with this text. When we click on here, we get this span filled with this text. However, what happens if we were to click on your name and then we tab down, we still get the text. If we were using the click function or the click event handler, you'll notice that it will work a bit differently. So let's change both of these to click refresh the page in our browser. When I click on it, it still works. We still have this information relayed back to the user. 
However, I'm going to press tab on my keyboard to tab down to age and you'll see that we don't get this text um, appear in the span here. So the reason we use focus in is to actually um, allow this event to take place or this event handler to be called when we actually have focus on the text area rather than a user clicking on it. It's extremely unlikely that a user would come along to a website and click each individual field. So now that we know the reason why we use the focus in, in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at focus out to get rid of this span when the user focuses away from it.